but Kelvin Snooks from the pit lane did, so he ended up in ninth position. And again, like yesterday, Marnie Ibrahim, sixth place from a pit lane start. When you get to a street circuit, anything can happen. I don't think Ricardo Tessera is expecting to go flying this morning when he woke up either. So, uh, yeah, a real indication that there is nothing settled until the chequered flag falls. And, and some of the, li the, the, the winners and the podium finishes will be uh, really uh, quite relieved, actually, because there's a lot of pressure on street circuits more than other circuits. So now that it's over, now they've got a good result, um, I think they'll be feeling quite relieved as well. We're starting to see some of the same names coming up in the points as well. Philip Eng, Dean Stoneman, Kazim Vasilyowskis, Julian Palmer, Man Ibrahim is in the first time, as is Will Pratt this weekend. But Segev Nasiev as well back in the points. Uh, in terms of our championship, uh, Johan Jokinen, seventh place and... and not really had a very good weekend here at all, has he? Didn't finish in race one, didn't finish in race two, so he slips down out of the frame. One of the much fancied men after winter testing, not had a good opening couple of race weekends. He had the pace, but quite often it's more than just having the pace. You've got to be have the complete package, and um, I think uh, he will go away from this race weekend thinking that he, he has made a few mistakes, but it's all part of the learning process, and that's what Formula 2 is really all about. So. Yeah, very much, and, and with a lot of these categories, you've got to really look at a two-year process of learning about this new step forward, all the all the challenges of it, and then maybe, like Eng is now in year two, starting to look at being a regular championship challenger and uh, and race winner. But for Dean Stoneman, again, you know, coming in fresh from two-litre Formula Renault, only ever raced in British tracks, you know, it's a it's a world of difference here for him. Silverstone, perhaps that little bit of, you know, you speak the language, you drive to the racetrack, a nice initiation to the season. But from here on in, there is Dean with uh, Dr. Jonathan Palmer. From here on in, it's going to be alien all the time. He was saying to me, well, what's Monza like? I said, mate, it's, <laughs> wait till you get there. You just... It's, you know, everywhere he goes now, it's going to be a world of uh, a voyage of, of exploration. And for Philip Eng, apart from here in Marrakesh, he's done all the tracks before. He knows the car. He knows the championship. He's got the weapons he needs. It's going to be a hard man to keep in touch with. So everybody who does stay up with him in the points, Will Bratt here, our podium finisher in third, they're going to be doing a good job. I think he is definitely going to be a season-long front runner. Yeah, I think we're starting to see the, the, the real pace setters and the... And the um, the uh, t top runners of the championship and it's all part of uh, you just got to be consistent throughout the, the weekend consistent throughout the championship and um, as we can see a replay of Dean really going for it um, it's nice to see yeah great and great racing from both guys you know they were not on the limit they were just edging beyond the limit kept it off the barriers kept it off each other Really, really good job by both guys. You know, some great racing all the way through the field, actually, but particularly the guys that lead always get that little bit of more of attention. And uh, for Will Bratt there, tall figure of Will Bratt, with one of his backers, uh, good pass on Kazim Vasilyowskis, who we saw yesterday, uh, not, uh, not yesterday, uh, last year, all year long, is not easy to beat in a straight fight. Good effort by Will to get on the podium. So, two British drivers on the podium again. And congratulations, what a battle. Dean Stoneman was really hunting you down. Yeah, I think it was the toughest race of my life. Um, it was really close sometimes. I think uh, two or three times uh, we touched. Um, so it was really, really close. And I was so happy when the checkered flag came out. I can't believe. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I wonder how much boost he had left. I, do you know, I can't imagine either of those guys will get back to the paddock with a single shot of boost left. Not with a race that was like that. No way. I mean, <laughs> they'd be furious if they found they had one more. Um, I, they really were giving it everything they, they got. And um, as you say, they, I'm sure they would have used all the boost. Yeah. I, you know, being attacked like that, if, if he managed to survive all of that attack, as he said, with, you know, contact for the toughest race of his life, still with boost, I'd be amazed. <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to remember, it's not that dirty Harry have I fired five or six you've got a big number on the middle of the dashboard tells you how many you've got left so unfortunately you know when it comes up zero and you've still got a few laps left to attack then it really is every man for himself great great race here Philip Ang winning from Dean Stoneman and Will Bratt plenty of drama to keep you on the edge of your seat both in terms of racing and in terms of well wreckage and uh, unfortunately, you know, the flip side of the coin there for Jack Clark is barely completed a lap here apart from practice and qualifying. So wretched time for him. Started the race from pit lane. 
Where's that? That's that's not even the back straight, is it? That's the front straight. I don't think. I think the car probably just had enough go to get out of the pit lane. Whatever was wrong with it, obviously stayed wrong. Jack's had a tough weekend. One to forget, definitely. So there are the championship standings, and as you see here, yeah, Clark down in 11th place now. Really disappointing for him. He'll need a really good run at Monza to get back that confidence and get some momentum. And there's still a lot of clearing up to do and plenty more work for the Formula 2 mechanics. So we're going to try and hang on to see the guys come out on the podium. Jean Tot uh, here to see two very busy Formula 2 races. And uh, Jonathan Palmer, of course, not only the organiser of Formula 2, but himself a former European Formula 2 champion as well. So he knows from both the organiser's side and, of course, from the driver's side exactly what it's like to be in these situations. And he's said so many times, as, as drivers do, street circuit is the ultimate distillation of what you do. You can't get it wrong, and we've seen that all the way through this race weekend. Yeah, and you really see who are the top drivers because you have to risk everything to be on the front row, uh, get a good uh, result in qualifying. But by risking everything, you're right up against the walls uh, and um, that really um, makes the, um, spreads the field out a little bit more sometimes because some drivers make, choose a, to take a little bit more risk than others. Some just have the, uh, the experience and the knowledge to deal with it. And Philip Eng and Dean Stoneman certainly here showed that you can race wheel to wheel, clean, hard, relentlessly, and avoid each other in the concrete. Pretty much avoid each other at least. They're certainly not in the terms of hitting anybody and knocking them off. So uh, great, great result, great end to the race for uh, Dean Stoneman and Philip Eng as well. I'm sure, although he didn't win, Dean will be delighted with that. And Will Bratt, yes, after the disappointment yesterday where he had a car that was capable of finishing on the podium, uh, he'll be very happy to do so today. Dean Stoneman, second place, and uh, that keeps him right in the championship frame. That'll move him up to second behind Philip Eng, our race winner. Two race wins this season. That's really Really good start to the year for him. So uh, all the verses there are the Austrian national anthem for Philip Eng as he stands on the top step of the podium for the second time. So win at Silverstone, win at Marrakesh. Wonder whether he'll be able to carry on the trend as we get to Monza in what three weeks' time. Very different circuit from either of the two we've been to, but another one where slipstreaming is going to be so important to these drivers. And Philip Eng, with the championship leader after race one, extends his advantage now not over Jolian Palmer, who finished in fifth place, but over Dean Stoneman. Yes, because they were tied together, weren't they, before the race? So Dean taking second place. And uh, it's going to be a pretty good race weekend for him, you'd have to say, wouldn't you? One race one yesterday, second in race two today. Definitely. You wouldn't really ask him for much more than that. And the, his confidence is going to be sky high at the moment. And going into a, a circuit like Monza, that's great. Right.
So don't forget that races three and four in the FIA World Touring Car Championship follow straight away. The car's getting ready to go out on track. We'll be back live with all the action for the meanwhile, though, from Formula 2 until Monza. It is goodbye from them. We'll see you next time out.